It is take two for NASA. Today they will try for a second time to launch the Artemis 1 rocket. These are live pictures of the rocket this morning at Kennedy Space Center. Engineers scrubbed the first launch attempt Monday after an engine temperature sensor malfunctioned. Wake Up Charlotte's Chris Pallone is in Cape Canaveral, Florida with the latest. Launch day number two for Artemis 1. At Kennedy Space Center, NASA engineers are as confident as they can be that today's the day. While I feel very good about our procedures, when you look the team in the eye, they're ready. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub. With Monday's mechanical issues resolved, focus is now on the weather. Afternoon storms are possible, but the forecast is still favorable for launch through Tuesday. I do not expect weather to be a showstopper by any means for every launch, for e either launch window. For NASA, the goal of the Artemis program is to put astronauts back on the moon's surface. This first step, a 37-day uncrewed test flight, sending the Orion crew capsule perched atop the rocket into orbit around the moon. NASA scientists will gather data on what the spacecraft and astronauts will experience on future flights. We are pushing the vehicle to its limits, um, really stressing it um, to get ready for crew. If successful, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years, then a moon landing in 2025 or 26. It promises to be a future of firsts. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. For members of the Artemis program today, the key emotion is pride. Pride in their country and pride in the nation's ability to accomplish big things. It's a country that is strong because People come together here and do amazing things. And it's a country that can reach for the stars, that can land on the moon, and it can aspire to go to Mars. Artemis won the first step in the race to return to the moon. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Cape Canaveral, Florida. And as a reminder, our Brad Panovich is walking us through it all. You can find his live stream of the launch starting at 1.45 this afternoon. You can scan the QR code on your screen for the link, or you can catch it on our Weather IQ YouTube page or WCNC+. That is on Fire TV and Roku.